Hey guys, welcome to my planet. Well, like, I guess this is our planet now. Today begins an experiment. I want to see if myself and a bunch of you guys that are currently watching this video could create a successful society. So, welcome to Eco. Eco is a game where everything you do has an impact on the planet. Hunt too many animals, they go extinct. Burn too many fossil fuels, the entire planet dies. Don't work cohesively, the planet gets struck by a meteor. So it's safe to say this is gonna be fun. So if you wanna start playing, go check out my Discord down below. Or if you just feel like watching, I'll be actually posting a video every single day of this 21 day experiment where I'm gonna live as a neutral party. I can actually affect the world in heavy ways by actually increasing taxes and zoning laws and a bunch of other crazy stuff. So what I wanna do is set up a nice little house on a hill live sustainably by myself and have you guys come up to me and tell me what you need. And there's going to be debates on both sides, whether or not to use coal or not to. Do uh, two different cities pop up with two different types of politics? Who knows? So it could get dicey. So definitely subscribe, turn on that notification icon to be notified whenever the next eco survival video goes live. And let me know with a comment down below how you think this is going to work out. How long will we last? But that's enough talking. Let's get into Eco Survival. Ah, welcome. Welcome, guys. This is our world. This is where we're going to live. I've decided on a location on the map where I want to be. And uh, this seems like a good one because I personally am going to be a farmer slash cook uh, in this game. There is a skill system. You gain skill points every single day, like 24-hour day, legit, like real-life hours to get skill points. And right, and those skill points are spent on a bunch of different proficiencies. And I want to go up in cooking and hunting and fishing and that type of stuff because you get more skill points based on your balanced nutrition. So... I'm hoping that a lot of people on the server will start coming to me to get a balanced nutrition and trade their goodies for my tasty treats. And that's the plan. So that being said, I will be live streaming a lot of this over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash partially roll. There's a lot of downtime in this game. Craft times are relatively long in the vanilla settings. Um, we'll tweak these as we go. If it seems like people are really just having a hard time getting anything going, we can tweak things. But obviously that's up to you guys. Um, but... The reason why I chose this location is, one, it's got water. Two, it's flowing water. As you can see, there's waterfalls here, and you can actually make these, uh, you know, those rotating, like, old-timey, like, wind, like, like, the water flows through them, and it creates power. You could literally create those, and this is a really good spot for it. And just for, like, my own sake of lo uh, the love of building things and building large, awesome things, I would love to build a bridge across this. It would just be absolutely beautiful. And, of course, we need water for farming if we do go into farming, which would be smart since we're going to be the ones uh, selling food. But to start, I'm going to have to chop down half of a forest, and I'm going to feel really bad so we can get our log cabin up. And I also need to claim uh, land here, so that way nobody can take my thing on the land unless I give them the option to. This is something that you guys will want to use as much as possible especially if you have like trees growing behind your house that you want to chop down you should claim them of course we're gonna have rules against over claiming and making sure that it's fair um but ultimately it's a free-for-all that's kind of the point i want to see if we can cohesively work together or if this server is just gonna get nuked who knows like i, I really don't know so it's it's very minimal rules gonna claim that piece right there claim that piece right there and there we go. All right, I claimed a little three by three square here because I just wanted to make sure that we have room to build. Oh, I missed the corner. There we go. We claimed a square here, which is nice, or is a rectangle? Who knows? But we claimed our square. We're going to start building our house. I need to get my campsite down. I need to get my workbench going and uh, really need to chop down some trees. There's some papaya trees back here behind uh, my campsite that I just set up, which is super nice. So, people better not be chopping down my papaya trees, all right? We ain't chopping down papaya trees. We're going to chop down things that don't actually give us food. Because we're trying to keep this environment nice and safe, you know? I will not contribute to the destruction of this planet. I will do everything in my power. That is a... Is it dead? Oh, you ain't... Oh, oh, oh God, I don't think... 
I don't think they, I don't think creatures attack you in this game. I'm pretty sure they just kind of like are part of the ecosystem, but it still scares me. Maybe they do though. Who knows? Oh God. Do I want to chop down palm trees? I kind of think coconuts will start forming during certain seasons, right? Huh. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, there we go. And there's the meteor. It says 29 days, but I'm going to force it at 21 days. Oh, coconuts came out when we... Okay. Awesome. Now let's chop this bad boy up into pieces. And then deliver the logs back home. And then what we do is we go to the crafting table. Oh, tomatoes too. Are those tomatoes? Oh, heck yeah. I picked a corn. Wow, I picked a really freaking good spot to be the farmer slash cook. Not enough space in my stockpile. Well, looks like we got to craft another stockpile. So this is what I was saying about uh, the timers and why I wanted to live stream this. Just a stockpile, which is going to expand how much inventory room I can have like at my camp here. It takes two whole real life minutes to do. So this is where I would love to be able to talk to you guys, chat it up and kind of figure out what, you know, we want to do next in the game. Of course, we don't have to sit there. We can just leave it there. So that's not a problem. Um, I also realized that I put my campfire, I believe, let's place these down. I placed my campfire outside of my building area, like literally in between where I can place it to. So it's not hooked up to the, uh, the stockpile there. So I'm just going to claim in this direction. Oh, we're all out of land claim papers. You get more land claim papers as you level up and as you go up in different skill trees and such not. So, but we could pick this up real quick as well. Hello, Mr. Wolf. What are you doing here? Here we go. Get a couple logs on the fire. And I have two small animal carcasses that I found just kind of like dead in the woods. They can literally just die of straight up old age they could die from a predator and then i just kind of scooped it up there's a multitude of things that i could have got those from i think i found a wild turkey on the ground dead and then a uh, a rabbit elsewhere so i got two little tiny carcasses i can cook up and as i mentioned before these are going to give me protein like really good protein and what we're currently missing actually in our diet right now is proteins and fats which meat is going to give us so that's going to increase the number of skill points that we receive per day which is going to... Oh, what is this? A present? Oh, it's a stockpile. I'm an idiot. That's what I'm saying. It's going to increase our, our skill points per day, and then we're going to be able to level up and do things uh, even more. Oh, this stockpile is like 12 times bigger. Heck yeah. Oh my god. That's nice. Let's eat this tasty treat. Boom! 400. So now we actually have more balance into our proteins and fats, and we're going to gain 21 instead. I think it said 19 before we ate that piece of meat. So that's why I'm going to be the chef and the cook. Of course, people can compete with me and whatnot, but uh, good luck. And as I mentioned before, with the food as well, you actually lose calories when you craft things. So you need to make sure you're eating just to be able to craft things as well. That's why it's just such a good position to be the cook. Just, just, just reinforcing it, you know? Uh, we've been working for a bit here. We got a lot of logs. Bigger stockpiles getting going. We uh, got rid of the small one. Put down the campfire. Here's our little tent. Um, just to see where we've claimed. We own all of these. We own all of these. So we're probably going to start the house right on the edge of our plot line. And kind of back it up to the tent maybe. I think that's probably the best bet. And we can just move the tent back once we start getting a little deeper into here. So let's get to building. We got a decent amount, nothing crazy. We're looking at like 42 logs. We still got a lot of grinding to do uh, to get any of uh, our house fully complete anytime soon. Um, but the building of this game is extremely extensive. So I, I could even imagine someone who was really good at building beautiful structures in Minecraft and stuff like that could do some really crazy stuff with this game and even offer that as a service on the server. Like maybe it'd be like, yo, give me some good food and I'll build your house. That'd be cool as heck as long as you supply, you know, the wood and the supplies to do so. I guarantee that someone could easily make a living on the server off of that. But that being said, um, I'm going to start with a straight up wood cube. And then uh, figure it out later, because <laughs> as of right now, 
uh, to get to the next step in the game, you literally have to have like a room. If you guys are familiar with a, with a game called Terraria, it's similar to that. The room has to have windows and a door, and it has to be built in a specific way to be counted as a quote-unquote room. And then you zone the rooms to be specific things like the kitchen, the smeltery, the etc, etc. You know what I mean? So you need to literally build rooms in your house to properly have a functioning house because certain items take up like an amount of square footage. So if you're going to be, you know, building cars and you're the factory guy, you're going to need a really big place for me. I might have to get pretty big depending on how large like the stoves get and stuff like that, but I'm going to be able to live pretty quaint, which is kind of what I'm looking for. Because if I'm going to be managing the server and taking in all of the politics of everybody doing what they want, um, I just don't want to be too stressed out. So we're going to have a small little cute place and we'll, we'll spruce it up later. But for right now, it's just going to be a gosh darn cube. And I don't want it to be too big either because I just don't have the materials for this yet. I think we'll go to like here. Maybe one more. Just bring it right to the edge here. I think that's good. So in about 25 minutes worth of gameplay, I have this. Like I said, this game's a grind, but it's so rewarding. Also, I never mentioned, I did a longer season of this game where we actually did delete the meteor. Just fair warning, it was a while ago. Much younger, much just I, just, I cringe watching old playlists like that. But if you are interested in seeing more about the game before you think about purchasing it or something, there's a playlist link down below. Okay, we finished our house. Well, our first room, I guess. As you can see, it's popping up with a whole bunch of stuff. Multiple rooms with different types of furniture, and each will give you a bonus. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Higher tier housing materials will increase your experience rate. So this is where a carpenter or someone who would want to be the carpenter would easily be able to trade for things like food if I want to upgrade my house to increase my experience per day. So you can kind of see how the ecosystem is going to start to thrive and, and survive based on who's doing what and and who you know we need to make sure that everybody's doing something different is what i'm trying to say so if you want to be one of the ones forcing the map in the world to success try to spread out what's going on maybe talk to people in the server and see who's not doing what and try to pick up that as your job but you could also compete. You could also just be the guy that's just like, I'm going to mine all the coal and I'm going to destroy the planet, but I'm going to be rich as heck. You can do that. Who knows? Oh, and then you start to see here, we can only use the advanced, like, so you, the advanced stove has to be built within a brick structure. So, like, it's going to start getting to the point, I mean, already. It's already getting to the point where we need other people on the server, man. So, here's the specialty tree that I was talking about earlier. I'm going to be going up in chef specialties, but there is carpenter, there's engineer, which I guess you unlock later, there's farming, so I'm going to try to stick to chef and farming, but I mean, technically, I could just become friends with a farmer and pick up all my stuff to chef up with, and I can also hook up with a hunter that's on the server, so that way uh, I get different various types of food, and then of course I'm going to have to get with the mason to get the bricks for my stoves, and and whatnot you could solo dolo or just be a survivalist you know there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do smiths tailoring i know that different clothes you can get bigger backpacks to hold more items there's a lot going on here so since i want to be the cook i'm just going to start right here by specializing in campfire cooking the first thing that i can do which actually unlocks a 50 percent decrease in calories for your labor when cooking which is really good so i'm going to be a lot more efficient while cooking now and what I'm now just seeing, if you hover over this, I can literally see top users, as in I am the highest level cook on the server right now, because I'm the only cook on the server, Jared, right there. So as people start joining and building up their bases and whatnot, we can also see who's going up and what, and you know who to reach out for, or reach out to for what you need. And then the next thing we need to do is craft a research table to be able to research a whole bunch of different trees. Uh, so to get to the baking tree and whatnot, I have to go up in chef specialties at a research table by researching specific items that you find throughout the world. Then I can get advanced baking, advanced cooking, baking, cooking, etc., cutting edge cooking, and really just start getting real deep into the cooking tree. And the research table is now complete. Um, I've been on for probably about two hours now. I've been taking my time, though. I'm not really in a rush to do anything. I don't want this episode to be super long as well. 
I kind of want to mostly revolve the episodes around you guys and what you're building and what you're doing and going to visit you and trading with you guys and things like that. And I'll just give you like quick updates on like how the house is going and what I'm working on. And that'll kind of be the daily episodic series that happens with this game. Um, obviously, this is only a successful series with the help of you guys joining the server, liking this video and commenting down below. I much appreciate you guys all swinging by today. Um, but uh, I'm going to keep grinding a little bit. Might even pop on the stream later today or early tomorrow morning to really get some things going. And I appreciate you all and see you tomorrow.